What's up, guys? This is Steve Zetro Souza from Exodus, and you are watching Slasher Pepper. So slash it up. Enjoy that shit, motherfuckers. Hey, guys, Slasher Pepper, and welcome to another interview. Today, I'm going to be interviewing Steve Zetro Souza from Exodus. How are you doing? Roger, what's up, brother? Good to be in here. Slasher Pepper. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Um, so I wore my, my Frankenstein shirt for all you guys and all your watchers out there. You exactly. Know? Yes, you I'm know. wearing the Texas Chainsaw yeah, shirt. Yeah, of course. The, one of the classics forever. Right. Come on. So, um, can you tell us anything new about the next Exodus album? I know that Gary is feverishly writing songs right now. When we'll be in the studio, I'm not quite sure, but I called him the other day. And I asked him something about some dumb TV show we both watch. And he goes, oh, I didn't see that. Dude, I'm writing riffs and putting songs together right now. And then I heard Tom and himself were starting to get together this week. And that means songs are being put together when him and our drummer get together. So that's good news. Awesome. And um, what's the best experience you've had on tour, like on any tour ever? After 34 years, Roger, really? Come on, that's a tough, uh, best experience. I think just the experience of being able to tour for this long, you know, being 34 years in the business. You know, my first record came out, uh, was the second Exodus record, Pleasures of the Flesh, and that was in uh, 87. And uh, we, I joined the band in 86. So I, I guess just being able to have fans like you that still love the band and still want to hear the band. so. That's the best part of it all, I guess. I guess that's what still keeps me um, interested in doing it, obviously. Oh, yeah. Um, so Slayer has their own beer brand and their own wine band. Motorhead has like every single sort of liquor you can imagine. Do you think we'll ever get an Exodus beer or? or we booze? have one. Really? It's in the United States. It's called the Toxic Malts. <laughs> like, you know, malt. Right. Yeah, it's called the Toxic Malts, uh, and uh, and uh, there's a brewery, Three Floyds Brewing Company, out of um, I think they're in Pennsylvania or in the three tri-state area, and they sell it to seven states out there. Yeah, it's oh, Texas. I had no idea. It's, it's like a Belgian ale. Everybody tells me I'm not a beer drinker, so I don't drink. Uh, I'm, I don't know this one from that one. I only drink them every once in a while if it's hot outside, just for the taste but I was told it's like a Belgian ale. Yeah, the toxic malt. <laughs> That's fantastic. Um, so what non-metal musician would you like to work with? Non-metal musician? Um, I, you know, I saw a video the other day of Cat Stevens and, Cor and Chris Cornell doing uh, Wild World, and I would love to do something with Cat Stevens. That would be awesome. Awesome. Paul, Paul Simon, maybe even. Right, right. He's good. Yeah. Um, and what are your thoughts on the current state of music, like the, the popular sort of stuff? Metal will always be around, guys. It always has been. It always will be. There's guys like me and you that can't listen to that stuff, that have to listen to heavy metal. And I've been this way. I'm 56 years old. I've been this way my whole life. I bought, my father bought me uh, Led Zeppelin IV when I was eight in 1972. And uh, it's, my hair's been long and I've been listening to hard rock or heavy metal ever since. So I think that's the normal metalhead. You never hear anybody going, yeah, I listened to Slayer for like a summer and then I got out of it. You know, you don't ever hear that. You know, if right. you're locked in, you're locked in forever. Exactly. That's true. Um, so... What are your favorite slasher films? Slasher, you got to go back to all the 80s originals. You know what I mean? And that's how I am because I'm an original guy. I love Dracula and Frankenstein and the mummy and the werewolf with Lon Chaney. I like the originals. So, I mean, obviously, you know, Halloween. And, and actually, for me, the second uh, Friday the 13th is more brutal than any of uh, in the part two is, I mean, the kills were like when the ax hits the face. And then at that age, because again, you look like you're a youngster and you weren't around in 1980 when that right. came out, <laughs> but I was. 
and I went and saw it, and I'd never seen graphic gore done so well in the movie before. And so all of those, obviously the Freddy Krueger movies, even the campy ones, because I think the first three are awesome. And then the other ones got campy, but I didn't mind them, where Freddy has all covered in, little one-liners <laughs> in every movie. You know what I mean? So that kind of turned, kind of parried him himself but um um uh a really good uh 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 good stuff from that any of the 80s stuff right so like I maniac saw, cop uh, uh, yeah maniac cop any of that stuff uh of course anything that was just brutal like and i'm a slasher guy but i'm a monster movie guy man i like when to see this type of makeup you know, right like, <laughs> and to me a monster my explanation of a monster is something that was once in a human form, or at least humanoid, and is now like a, a vampire is a monster who was once human. Frankenstein, the monster is was, you know, originally human parts. You know what I mean? The mummy, werewolf, they were once human at one point, and even creature from the Black Lagoon is a humanoid creature. So I always felt that that I mean, and I do like, you know, Godzilla, and I love creature movies, and I love the big. You know, when there's collateral damage going on. And I love that type of stuff, too. But my favorites are, are, are like, you know, I just saw The Invisible Man, the updated version, and I thought it was absolutely amazing myself, honestly. Awesome. And um, what or who got you into horror movies? My mother watched a Dark Shadows uh, cart uh, serial in the 60s. It was a soap opera that came on every day after General Hospital, and it was Uh, surrounded by a vampire i still have every episode 1221 it ran for seven years and i watched dark shadows and from then there was a show in the bay area that's on again and i actually did the soundtrack for it's called creature features so you guys over in holland if you check out creaturefeatures.tv or go on youtube check out creature features you'll hear me singing the theme song for for the show and every week they show a horror movie and they did that because in the 70s There was no outlet for um, um, for uh, horror movies. You know, you, you had 13 channels, and, they, and some of them shut off at the end of the day. So a lot of times, um, you know, you could you only had that once a week that you could do that. You know, and see your favorite horror movie. And so, um, um, in my eyes, that's how I got into it. So every week, I made sure that I was there for creature features. It was, sometimes it was on at 9.30 on Friday night, sometimes at 11.30, or sometimes it was on Friday and Saturday night. So I was like totally got a double shot of it. But uh, it was, uh, again, uh, that's what got me in. So anything horror, any movie that came out that was scary, uh, any of the Sinbad movies came out, like Harryhausen, any of that type of stuff, I loved it, lived for it. You know, and I, I could watch Dracula. And I watched The Bride of Frankenstein and then Sven Gulli the other day. I love awesome. Sven Gulli. I don't know if you watch Sven Gulli. And um, he's a guy who's a horror host in the United States. And he shows movies. And in between, he talks and he gives you pieces of information about the movie. And that's kind of cool. Basically, like Creature Features does, too. So I watch all the classes. Still, on Halloween, I line them up and just sit here all day and eat fucking candy and, and watch, <laughs> all, watch horror movies, man. But I'm always watching something horror. Anything that comes in the movies, I go see it. Just, you know, because I love the smell. I love the popcorn. I love the whole 10 yards of the movie. And so I go see everything. And I have my own YouTube channel, Zetro's Toxic Vault, which I do movie reviews on there. And I've actually watched a couple of movies with the fans, one called The Slashing and one called uh, Bloody Bloody Bible Camp. And so they're kind of B-movies, but they're killer. And actually the director, Vito, came in when we when we watched it together and in between clips we talked about the movie and the making of the movie so way into horror bro horror and metal works works uh works hand in hand you know for sure for sure if uh, anyone is interested in your channel i'll link it up there um then one final question did horror also get you into metal <sighs> no it didn't but it seemed like The hard rock and, and heavy metal songs of the 70s, even the 80s, were very horror-oriented. So it, it, notice how guys like Kirk Hammett and other people, Phil Anselmo, I mean, the second record, uh, 
for Pantera is called Vulgar Display of Power. Do you know why it's called Vulgar Display of Power? Because in The Exorcist, she says to her, she opens up the drawer and, and, and she closes it and he goes, do it again. And he goes, she goes, too much use of, too much of a vulgar display of power like that. So you find these things out, you know? And so uh, that's why I'm very much locked in. Now more than anything, I mean, like, you know, I don't know, I can, I can pick my phone up and I can show your viewers that have, like, my house is completely decorated in horror <laughs> memorabilia with tons and tons of all these different bobbleheads that I've collected over the years. Um, all this different stuff that I, that I collect. I love anything. There's all my dark shadows in, a, in the casket. Obviously, Herman and Lily. That's a big one for me. All my house is completely decorated. Signed picture from Jonathan Frid from Dark Shadows. Everything in my house is framed with, you know, uh, <laughs> monsters on it. Uh, that was the host from Creature Feature signed for him. Munster's Cuckoo Clock. So, I mean, I'm way in Way, way, way. And actually, this is my prize. Signed picture from Bella Lugosi right there. And so I'm very much into it. I just don't, I live it. If I could, you know, I don't know what more I could do. I'm very fortunate to be the, you know, have the entity that I have in heavy metal so that I can, you know, do these things. I go to, I actually have been doing horror cons because they have musical artists do them now. So I've <laughs> done a couple of horror cons and met a couple of the, my famous horror movies. Veronica Carlson from all of the Hammer movies came to my house for a party last year. It was like the best thing ever. You know That's you so know? cool. I'm like, Veronica Carlson is at my house. She was like, <laughs> Peter Cushing, Christopher Lee, David Prowse, who played Darth Vader. She played in all those movies with this guy, these guys. So to me, it was like I had an icon at my house, an absolute icon. That's so cool. Is there anything you would like to add to the interview? No, man. I just want to say thank you, guys, all you slasher metalheads. And even if you're not a metalhead and you're a slasher or, or, a, or, a, or a horror fan, you know, um, you find out sometimes that some of us are – you know, especially guys like myself, I mean, I mean, all of my shirts, all of my clothes is all some type of monster, horror, <laughs> Texas Chainsaw, some shit, you know what I mean? Just like you got on, exactly. Just like you got on a picture. I, I had the Phantom of the Opera, just a picture of Aunt Cheney in that famous pose on yesterday. So, again, I'm. everybody knows what's great because the fans, they now bring me gifts to the shows and it's all little horror figurines and i put them <laughs> on my set so remember to check out zetro's toxic vault on youtube and i do some horror stuff too there will be links in the description so uh nice. check that out thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time see ya see you guys you have waited this long hell no longer awaits <laughs>